what a lot of people don't know is that you re-spit on that how to rob. <laughs> Bottom line Liz, I'm a blood with a deal. My records don't sell, I'm a rob and steal. 50 did it first, I'm a star with him. Work on straight, then move on M. Run up in record one while they working on detox. I need exclusive tracks, eight, seven, three knots. I know y'all got that, all of y'all went plat. Grab a cool vitamin water and uh, relax. Yeah, it only take me a minute to pull out the strap. Rob a three-headed monster, I'm telling you black. When I see Wayne again, I'm patting him down. He was on my first single, but I'm past that now. Tell me about it. I was just having, I was just having fun, man. Like, like everybody that heard it, even the people I was talking about, they was like, oh man, you went in on that. That was hard. So it wasn't no disrespect to no artists or nothing, man. You know, I was just looking at 50 Cent back in the days when he did his How to Rob. You feel me? And I was like, man, I'ma just do it like you know what I'm saying for one of our times about about the rappers today. You feel me? Cause I I really thought that was real creative for 50 Cent. You feel me? I've been like, what made you just initially just go in and try to get this deal you got? I mean, basically like. Like, like I said, man, I, I done been through a lot of shit just, like, you know what I'm saying, just on the street level, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I lost a lot of homeboys, you feel me, just, you know what I'm saying, to the streets, like, like a lot of them just doing life in prison and some ain't even here no more, so, you know what I'm saying, it was around that point in time, like, you know what I'm saying, I always had the talent to do music, I always had music in me, so, you know what I'm saying, everybody used to be on me, from family to friends, homies, Everybody like, man, you don't need to be out here in the streets doing this dumb shit, dog. Man, you got the voice, man. You need to, man, stick with that rapper shit, man. And you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this man, it's whatever. Like, rap wasn't putting money in my pocket. Or, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, they wasn't putting no food on the table at the time. But you know, like I said, one of my big homies shot the top dog. You feel me? He came and snatched me up off the streets, man, and put me in the studio. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to always run from him, you know what I'm saying? Because he used to always, I think he finna come into the hood, chest tie me about some shit I did. But all the time, he wanted to do some music. You know what I'm saying? So he just came, snatched me up off the streets, put me in the studio, and just locked me in there. Like, man, this is what it is, man. I don't want to see you out there doing no dumb shit, man. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That, that's a real nigga for you, you know what I'm talking about? And, you know, I, I just spun my time in there, like, and started just doing music, you know what I'm talking about? And, and, you know, he had a couple of connects at a couple of labels, and what well, you know, Warner Brothers gave us a call, you feel me? So then from that point on, it was like, man, ain't no looking back, man, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't think in a million years Warner Brothers or anybody would really be listening to me, especially a cat coming out of watch, you feel me, coming from right here, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I really started taking a look at that, man. These people is loving my music everywhere, so, I mean, why not keep doing it, and you know what I'm saying, and, and spitting that real shit that people love to hear, so... You know what I'm saying, man? That's what it is.